I was born with uh, dextrocardia, AV and VA discordance, perimembranous VSD, straddling and overriding left AV valve, pulmonary atresia, atrial flutter, a hole, and uh, fairly recently um, quite a lot of clotting, uh, which obviously causes concern. Since I was born, I've had five open heart surgeries. The first one was when I was three days old. The last one was uh, last year, I was 35, and it was a Fontan redo. I had my Fontan originally when I was 15, so that lasted quite well. Besides, apart from that, I've had numerous um, episodes in the cath lab. But before I had my Fontan redo, um, I had a RF ablation, which didn't really do what they wanted it to do. Um, so I've had lots and lots of operations. Um, I'm currently on my second pacemaker, and that's pretty much that. Quite a history, and in all honesty, I'm not that up to date on what I have, but we'll, we'll come on to why that might be in a minute. Answer. I have checkups regularly, um, would be the best way of putting it. After my Fontan redo, uh, I'm having checkups every six months. Would have been a year, but I had a stroke which uh, went to my cerebellum. Um, so my coordination and thought processes are a bit messed up still. Um, so the, the actual stroke was caused by clots. Luckily I, I don't have much weakness, um, except when I'm tired, then my left side gets weak. Um, but apart from that, it's not too bad. It's, it could be a lot worse. So the main the main hospital that I go to uh, is the guys in St. Thomas Trust. Normally St. Thomas is for all my outpatient appointments. Um, I had my Fontan redo at Guy's just because the surgeon was based there but my consultant floats between the two hospitals so my experience in hospital uh, when I have a checkup uh, it's, it's nerve wracking to say the least every single time I go I, I hate it um, <laughs> I really do every, every time I go I'm on a knife's edge um, because I, I don't know how things are going to go, I don't know how things are going to work out. The number of times that I've been um, feeling absolutely fine and then they pull something out of the bag um, and I've had to stay in and have a surgery or some kind of procedure done. Um, it's, it's far too regular um, to sort of dismiss as a an occasional thing. So when we go to hospital, um, my wife always comes with me. We always have a bag packed. Just we just don't know. We never know. And I think as I get older, I know technology changes and they come up with new fantastic ways to do stuff. It's it's just a it's a major fear that I'm going to go and they're going to turn around and say there's, you know, there's nothing else we can do for you, um, just go and have the, the best life you can. Um, it's, so hospital's terrifying and it doesn't get any easier, it really doesn't, that's that. Uh, I, I would have thought it'd be very similar for everybody who has a CHD, um, I can't be the only one. <laughs> Pretty dull, really pretty dull. Um, because of the severity of my CHD, I was in a special needs school where you know, I was with kids with what I would have termed properly disabled kids. I personally didn't see any limitation when I was younger, but obviously there was. Um, I wasn't able to do any of the sports. I think the closest I got to sports was um, archery every once in a while. 
um, or Butcher, uh, which was a fairly standard game in school. I didn't have many friends outside of school, um, so when I was at home and I would play, it would be me and my sister, but she would always go off with her friends and I'd get left on my own, so I'd end up playing inside. It's quite a lonely childhood, really. It's, it's not one that I would wish on anybody. Um, it's like I, I've got two kids now and I watch them play and uh, meet up with other kids and they'll have play and they'll run around and chase and scream and shout and do all the things that I wanted to do and that's great, you know, I, I, I love watching them, I really do because it's just, it's nice to see that they have a proper childhood that they'll look back on and think, you know, it was pretty good. But for me, I try not to think about my childhood because it was limited misery. Um, I was very lonely and it just wasn't enjoyable. Once I hit 15, and I had my Fontan done, um, which was touted as an all singing, all dancing, corrective surgery. Then, yeah, I had a fantastic time. School became more fun. Um, I, I went to secondary school, um, I played sports, I bumped off, um, I went to college. I bumped off, I drank, um, you know, numerous nights out, nights out nearly every night of the week. Once I'd left college and I got myself a job, I was out every night of the week, doing what people who are normal and proper and fit and healthy do. I was drinking, socialising, going out with girls, doing all the things that are, are good. So yeah, it, it was limited till 15, and then once 15 came, I had my surgery, the roof was just blown off uh, the rest of my developmental life, and that really didn't come to an end until 2012, 2011 maybe, when my health started to decline a bit. It's, it's not too bad now, I've got two kids, I'm married, I drink once in a while. I, generally just live a fairly average life now so it's nothing mind-blowing it's, it's, but it's nothing that you wouldn't turn down <laughs>